Audio Jungle. effect of effect of vertical location of wing okay so basically what are the various location that are three types basically it's nothing but high wing then it's nothing but mid wing and then low wing right high wing means this is the front view front view of the airplane so this is what wing okay this is the high wing this is what mid wing this is wing and this is what low wing okay these are the various location right <clears throat> this is the front view of the airplane now how to check the effect mathematically we should have some mo model so <clears throat> the contribution wing alone for longitudinal static stability you had seen already and for the vertical for the vertical analysis if you see uh, that i had explained suppose now this is the reference line if you remember if you connect with the last lecture then you will be able to understand this is the main reference line this is the reference line and suppose we consider this is our main wing this is our this is our main wing okay this is our main wing here something like this and here suppose this is what tail wing so we considered somewhere here we considered somewhere here and uh, still we are talking about the main wing so we can say somewhere this is the cz somewhere we can consider this is what cz so from the vertical axis to cz location was za huh? and from the horizontal the cz location was ha h and uh, the ac location was somewhere suppose this is what ac so this is nothing but hac something like like i had explained so here i am interested about the vertical variation that is nothing but za so i can say now this is my reference line this is my reference line and my cz location is what here so this vertical variation is nothing but za okay za or z simply and now we are talking about the main wing so our consideration for the main wing just say somewhere here this is what main wing this is the main wing okay main wing so <clears throat> as you have seen this is suppose ac location and this is the cg location so aerodynamic center location and this was h g location so this is the horizontal horizontal variation so that horizontal variation already i have explained uh, when cg is ahead to ac or ac is ahead to cg that was horizontal variation vertical variation means this za okay we have aerodynamic center here on this reference axis we have aerodynamic center here and cg is here so there is possibility possibility is what suppose this is the reference 
this is the reference maybe your aerodynamic center is what here and cz is what here maybe maybe also possible maybe also possible suppose this is the reference suppose this is the uh, aerodynamic center location and cz is what here both options are there okay and maybe third one maybe third option is this is reference both aerodynamic center is here and cg center is also here only the ac and cg is what coinciding based on this analysis we have a uh, uh, high wing low wing and a uh, high wing low wing and mid wing all right now so mathematically how you would see this so once you go for the calculation point of view so we have vertical variation vertical variation for change of pitching moment about cz with respect to lip coefficient in terms of varier, uh, vertical variation vertical variation means z a by c z is the altitude c is the chord percentage chord so this value is nothing but 0 point minus 0 point 0.111 cl z a by c this is the calculated value also we can derive but here it is not required generally i will take this parameter and from here i can uh, explain now you see for stability what is required for stability of airplane what is the criteria criteria is very simple it's nothing but do cm cz by do cl should be zero or also you can write do cm cz by do alpha should be less than zero that is the criteria now minus sign is already there to to stabilize the airplane to get do cm cz by do cl negative only this z a by should be positive right so whatever the slope you have do cm cz by do cl minus 0 0.111 cl z a by c to get to get do cm cg by do cl negative less than zero or negative value z a by c must be positive must be positive must be positive what is the mean of it what is the mean of it its meaning is very clear its meaning is very clear if z a by c is what positive then what, what is the location of cz means cz is what lying from the reference line uh, lying above from the reference line because now see i'll take case case 1 case 2 case 3 listen carefully it is very easy and obviously already i have taught you so here i am just little bit going fast also but don't worry i'll each explain each and everything what my point is this is your reference now reference okay everywhere same reference we can take same reference right what my point is if you are taking the same reference for all so just say this is what zero zero okay so if you go able if you able you go then it will be positive and if you go downward it will be negative 
right and if i say this is the reference of the plane so that will be the front view okay so if this is what front view so i can show you this is the front view for all three cases right like this if you are having cju location because if this is the airplane okay uh, this is the front view of the air, airplane so you have to show the location of the wing so wherever the location of the wing there will be the aerodynamic center because aerodynamic center is what relates to the uh, wing main wing only because it's it's related to the lift force so wing main wing is what going to produce lift so wherever the location of main wing there will be aerodynamic center now suppose here you have written z a by c which is nothing but positive z a by c is what positive to get a uh, dosium cg by dosial negative value z a by c must be positive this must be positive then only it will be stable then only it will be stable right so what is the mean of it how this z a by c will be a positive yeah? how this z a by c will be positive so it's very simple if you take if you take your aerodynamic center of the main wing aerodynamic center of the main wing here this is the now your aerodynamic center of the main wing i can take something like this okay if aerodynamic center we are taking uh, here this is the aerodynamic center because wing is here so this will be the aerodynamic center one you can take uh, a wing here if wing is here so aerodynamic center will be here right if wing is here so aerodynamic center will be here all right so three cases we have three different different cases we have one where wing is what low wing so obviously aerodynamic center will be here one when wing is what on top or high it is called high wing so obviously aerodynamic center will be here because wing is here and another we are taking wing on the mid so aerodynamic center will be here only okay now <coughs> if you go for the value of z a by c as i told you z a, z a by c which is the vertical height okay which is the uh, vertical height if you talk about the vertical height z by a, z a by c which is going upward so that will be positive and going downward so that means z a by c will be negative okay in the sense because wing is what here so this is the reference if wing is here so z a by c it will go downside like this z a by c will go downside like this only right and here z a by c will go upward direction like this only z a by c this will be z a by c and here this will be z a by c right now always remember we have to measure distance between aerodynamic center and cg our cg is what always at the mid uh, there is no variation in this because this variation is the vertical variation variation of the wing okay horizontally cg was moving but vertically cg is not moving it is constant vertically we are moving the location of wing so aerodynamic center will move here our cg location is what fix what it is moving it is aerodynamic center why because the location of wing we are changing so now our cg is what on mid aerodynamic center is here if you check the location so this location uh, distance between cg and ac is nothing but uh, you can say it's a z a by c okay so this will be positive because it is going in upward direction and this will be negative because it is going downward direction z a by c so this is what low wing 
this is what high wing and this is what mid wing okay now point is if z a by c is what positive to make it to make it do cm cg by do cl uh, do cm cg by do cl will be negative when when z a by c is what positive okay so it's very clear in this case which is the high wing this is called high wing and in the case of high wing only z a by c is what positive and for high wing only we will have a do cm cg by do cl negative what about mid wing because cg and ac is what coinciding so z a by c will be zero so do cm cg value do cm cg by do cl value will be zero if you check the formula so do cm cg by do cl value will be zero because z a by c so do cm cg by do cl becomes zero it means neutral now coming to low wing z a by c is what negative if you keep z a by c negative then minus minus plus this. ah yes so minus minus plus and once do cm cg by do cl it becomes positive it becomes unstable so idea is this one is what is stable this high wing always is stabilizing longitudinally it's a neutral and this is the unstable so this is the whole analysis but the story is what not ending up here we need to write the statement okay case 1 2 3 we have so case 1 first all the steps you have to write because that is important okay case 1 case 1 you are talking about the high wing huh? that is high wing so we have to write for high wing if cg is under ac and that is true check cg is under ac yes that is true for high wing cg is under ac or opposite also we can say or or ac is above cg both are correct okay both are correct ac is above cg or ac is above cg that is high wing that is high wing okay because z by c will be positive will be positive thus thus high wing high wing stabilizing longitudinally longitudinally the airplane this is the whole a point similarly this is for high wing okay similarly we can write mid wing case what is case 2 you can write here <coughs> cg and ac coincides coincides okay hence z a by c will be zero will be zero okay so will be zero that is mid wing that is mid wing which is neutral in longitudinal 
stability of airplane this is midway okay now coming to the case 3 coming to the case 3 that is low wing that is low wing and it's case 3 so for case 3 what we can write we should go for the diagram first so case 3 is you can say cz is able to ac uh, or we can say ac is under cz okay Mean, uh, both are same we can write ac is under cz r or cz is above ac okay that is low wing and and J Z A Y C will be negative, will be negative, thus, thus, low wing destabilizing, destabilizing the airplane longitudinally that's all now story is not end up up here again this part is done then graph based question also they can ask what they can ask graph based question they can give the slope do cz by do cl okay or simple i must say this is the cmcz that will be better cmcz and this is what cl now i want to show the, the graph here so <clears throat> what you will do one slope will be positive something like this one slope is positive one slope is positive right another slope is negative and so this slope is nothing but positive so what we will call it do cmcg do cl do cmcg do cl zero now c for all here in this case do cmcg by do cl less than zero do cmcg by do cl greater than zero and here for mid mig do cmcz by do cl equal to 0 okay here also i can write do cmcz by do cl less than 0 mid wing do cmcz by do cl equal to 0 here do cmcz by do cl positive so now check this is positive hence this is low wing this is mid wing and this is high wing. Okay. You can say this is very important here in examination. They are asking this is stabilizing. This plane is what is stabilizing. I mean, this high wing will be stabilizing, destabilizing, and this is what neutral all right 